What is up boys and girls and welcome back. So I'll be like always with some more Resident Evil and on the last episode I forgot what the hell we did last episode but we have a bunch of stuff and uh, with that stuff we should um I don't know we should put some of it away. Um, I still don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this wooden board. Um, we'll put the save stuff away. Um, probably the medicine. I don't think I need medicine with me. Um, and I think we're going to take these two masks, basically. Um, and we're getting out of here. Uh, now, to tell you the truth, I actually tried recording this episode before, but uh, I ended up like, it was like a 40 minute episode with me just like running around not doing anything, um, since I didn't know what to do. So I just decided to scrap it and kind of condense it to for you guys into a 15 minute video, more or less. Um, basically, I just did a couple things that, um, that I just forgot about, or that I... I just did a couple things, okay? Don't don't pressure me. Um, but yeah, I I was able to collect all the masks basically, and after I collected the masks, I think that's basically where I ended. Uh, I can't remember anything much after that. I know what you get from uh, getting all the masks, but uh, it was nothing like ooh super significant. So. Yeah, anyways, we're going to put these two masks back, by the way, um, just to open up some inventory space in our... Well, it's not like we have limited inventory space in our storage box, at least I don't think so. But, uh, you know, just so I don't have to carry all the masks at once and fill up my inventory that way, um, I think the best thing to do is just to go and drop these off. Um, I think we're missing one mask, um, and I do know where to get that. It took me a while to actually figure it out. I had to really really just backtrack and go to like basically every single um where does these go what's what's this uh nose do i have yeah that one what do you mean it doesn't go there it goes there i know that there you go see they didn't want to cooperate with me that that con scared me um but yeah it took me a while. I had to really, really backtrack and go through uh, the majority of the of the mansion just to figure out what to do. And it was just one item that I missed, which I kind of knew. I was like, I'm probably just missing one thing that I was probably not able to pick up early in the game because my inventory was full. And uh, that's exactly how it played out, basically. Uh, so, enough about that. Um, we're with Miss Jill Valentine here. And her little cute barrette. She's, she's, she's quite a looker, man. She's, uh... She's alright. <laughs> alright, so now that we did that, I think we should go pick up that one item that I did not pick up. Uh, I believe, where was it? It was... Oh, man. Um... Where was it? Yes, I think it was this way. Uh, so we'll head over this way. Frame drops. I don't know. Um, this game. I mean, I'm I'm hitting a a pretty constant 60 frames per second. It's not like my machine's working like super duper hard. It's more the fact that uh, my recording software doesn't seem to want to cooperate with the game. Uh, it really is just like, eh, I'll drop you a few frames here. Like you'll have a frame drop, basically. Also, one thing I also kind of learned while just running through the mansions that you can actually push these and now I could pick up this dagger that was underneath it very nice no I will not take the dagger I'm gonna leave it no I'm not um and then there's also yeah that this one right here uh, you can actually push this one out the way and uh, no don't don't turn on me come on Jill push okay well can I Please? Maybe I can't push it that way. Maybe I'm supposed to push it the other way. Which makes a little bit more sense, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there is a couple things down here. Um, exclusively, you know, more handgun bullets, which is always nice. Uh, okay, let's look at our map. Yeah, so we're going to go into this door and then make a straight right. Uh, 
And that should be where we pick up the item that I needed. Right here. Yes. Oh right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get attacked. No doggy! God damn it! S stupid dog! No! Bad! No! Get off of me! There you go. Stay down, boy. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this chemical. Basically, that's what we needed. Uh, we're also gonna re. Recharge, uh, not recharge. Uh, reload our gun. There we go. That's the word. Words, the bird, or birds, the word. Um, we're gonna take these two red orbs since I could actually fit them in my inventory right now. Also, so there we go. We could also combine like that, and we could open up one free space right there. Um, bye bye, dog. Basically, we need that, um, that chemical plant food. And, uh, I'm not sure if you know of a plant that maybe gave us a little bit of trouble. It kept whipping us with his freaking tentacles. Uh, but if you do remember, then, uh, yeah, that's where we're going. Uh, there is a plant on the second floor. And I think it's on the second floor on the left side of the mansion. Uh, and it's, like, near a fountain. You turn on the water. You put the chemical food inside, and then it, like, just shrivels up, basically. Also, I was able to get that, that thing up there. I finally figured out how to get it. I was like, maybe I'm missing that thing. Like, it's been there since the beginning, but I have not gotten it. And, uh, the way you get it is just pushing the damn, uh, drawer thing to, um, act as basically, like, a ladder. You step on it, and then, yeah. Um, it wasn't that difficult. I, I don't know why I didn't think of it. I guess it was just one of those things, because I didn't even know that you could, uh, get on it. Or, did I? I don't know, because, hmm. Because basically you have to push it in front of the door, so it blocks the door. So you could get on top of it once it's already on top of, the, like, already blocking the door. And, um, and then you could get down from it, like, on the other side while it's still blocking the door, which is kind of weird. Um... And what door was it? I think it was like all the way down. So this way. Am I missing anything? Yeah. Okay. I am missing something. Uh, I think in he was in here. I think I believe it was in here. It might not be. It might be mistaking it for another door. But um. Yeah, this thing. Uh, encryption's here. Yeah. Blue and yellow light. You can actually use this um, blue gem here and put in the tiger's eye. And I'm guessing I'm missing the yellow one, obviously. And it turns around and gives me bullets. Hey, shotgun bullets at that, which is really nice. Thank you, sir. And it turns back. So I'm guessing I need the other one, the ner or the yellow, uh, l ugh, a yellow gem, tongue tied there, and um, it allows us to get maybe like another. I'm not sure if it's just ammo or like consumables, but I'm guessing it might give us like a key or something like that um, later on, which is what I'm hoping for basically. Now, all right, so let's get over here. And yeah, we're making pretty good time. I'm looking at my time right now. We're like at nine minutes, roughly. And man, at this point, I was like already hitting probably like 30 minutes, which is pretty crazy. Uh, okay, so first, we dump this. All right, turns the water all nice and red, filled with gelatin. Red gelatin. Uh, I think it's the red one, I believe. And uh, yeah gonna be like oh no my one weakness orange juice I'm like yeah I knew orange juice was you know your weakness I will take one of this plant one of these plants uh, we could you know combine it with this red herb now we have two full heals right there we can actually take this mask also yes and I guess we should take one more herb hmm 
Yes. What I should have done is actually taken, left the mask on and combined two two of the red green herbs and then like made a three herb green one. Uh, can I put it back? I wonder. Give me a second. Let's see. No. All right. Well, I tried. I did. Wait. Is there something? I feel like there's something here. No. I thought there was like a bullet clip or something down here, but no, no luck. All right, so now we can head back. There are two herbs that we're leaving back there, but I don't know. Healing hasn't really been a big problem for me. Fuck. Run. Run. Which way am I going? Keep going straight. Straight. And uh, let's never come. Actually, we are going to have to come back here again. Um, we're going to have to probably go to that tiger statue is what I'm guessing and uh, basically this is as far as I've gotten well I had I did return the last mask and uh, a, that coffin finally drops um, the one that it's kind of been hinted that's gonna drop but uh, yeah I was able to get it to drop kind of know what happens there but it's not it's not a big spoiler or anything it's not you know it's not like it's gonna be a big mutant giant Something I don't know. What would it be? A giant ant to go with a giant snake? I don't know. What would what would be equally as terrifying as a giant snake? I think giant snake is probably as creepy as it gets. Maybe like a giant spider would be really really creepy. Actually, I think most bugs, if they're just like enlarged, they'd be so creepy. Like imagine seeing like a giant centipede. Holy crap! That would like make you crap your pants. I don't care how old, how tough you are. If you saw like a six foot centipede stand up on like its back like 20 legs that shit would freak you out all right let's use the mask enough with this uh creepy insect talk coffin drops uh i'm gonna switch to uh shotgun here hello Oh no, the door behind me, it's locked. Oh my god. Damn, right in the chest. Right in the chest. Wait, uh, don't want to do that. Let's reload. There you go. Is that it? Oh. No, I missed. No! No, get off of me! Oh, knife in the face! Oh man, my 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 condition's on caution. Not good. Let's use one of these mixed herbs. We're fine now. We're good. No harm, no uh, no foul. We press the switch, and we also got this uh, stone metal object. All nice. Uh, yeah, later, Grandpa. I don't think we ever have to come down here again, so that's that's a good thing. That's ah man, and that actually went a lot worse than uh, my first time. My first time I actually didn't get hit by him at all, so um, you know I guess that kind of makes up for the fact that you know I'm kind of redoing this this part. And uh, you know my guess was right. My 40 minute, I think it was like 40 to 50 minutes of gameplay on my last video turned to like 15 minutes of actual like. I'm gonna do shit right, you know, progress, um, which is nice. Now we have this emblem. Uh, let's examine it. The emblem is carved on the octagonal shape. What the hell is this? There's something behind, or like, there's some sort of marking here, and you're not gonna tell me otherwise, because I know you're bullshitting. Now, now that I read that it's the octagon, I'm guessing it goes like. No? Alright. Yes, there's octagonal indentations. So can I use this? No, I will not take it. No, I... Can I not open the door? I need two. But I don't have a second one. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, let's switch back to our pistol. 
We only have one dagger left, which has me a little bit worried. A little bit. Um. Yeah. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Hmm. Well, well, well. It's weird that that the the room with the plant um it's on the top left. It's still red, which means it's still in progress. Also, this room it says it's still in progress as well. But in progress from what exactly is my question? Like, what am I supposed to do here? I I guess I'm supposed to get the map, and once I get the map, it is a map, by the way. I um is it's the layout of the whole first floor. Um, which I don't really need because I've pretty much explored the whole fir first floor already. So, um, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this with me because since it's not doing anything here, we are going to take it. Maybe we could use it somewhere else. And by using it somewhere else, we could get something done. You know, I'm just, I'm just BSing out of my butt at this point. I have no idea what to do. Um, and that might be fine. I might just have to, um, you know, play a little bit on my own, I, I suppose. And by playing a little bit on my own, get a more or less of a lead of what to do. Um, you know, unless you've played this game before, there's, I'm guessing it's, you're, you're supposed to backtrack a lot. But hell if I know. All right, we can go up here. All right. And then... There is that red door over there. There's also a red door here. Or, like, not a red door, but, like, a red room. Which means it's in progress. But in progress from what? Like, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It's supposed to mean, like, I have unfinished business here. Is it supposed to mean um, there's an item here that I haven't picked up? Oh, wait, what? Okay. Okay. Botany, use of medical herbs, uh, yes, all right, green herbs recover physical strength, blue herbs neutralize natural toxins, however, the red herb has no real effects by itself, okay, add red with anything else, and it makes it more potent, um, and I guess that's it, and this room is not red anymore, okay, so I missed... I missed that book, and I guess that's what was making the room uh, not complete, I guess. Anyways, let's get out of there. And there is... Something in here. I'm not sure what's in here, but we'll check. And the, the save point is right downstairs anyway, so... You know. Yeah, this way. Uh, the, the save point is right downstairs, so we'll head right over there once we're done with this room. And we'll call it an episode because it's already like at 19 minutes at this point. So, there's nothing. This room is so creepy. It seems like the footsteps go through the bed. Oh, okay, the ink. Is that is that what I was missing? Oh, and then there's herbs here as well. Yes, um, and I will combine them. There you go. Um, is that it? Yeah, it seems like that's it. I can't push this bed. I don't know, it seems weird. The footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with anything, but, uh, whatever. We'll figure that out next time. Um, next time, oh man. This game gets really tense. Like, I'm playing in a dark room by myself with headphones. The music pretty pretty high, so, you know, the ambience could really, like, hit me. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty crappy atmosphere here. Makes me feel lousy. Makes me feel um, anxious, almost. Scary. Alright, so... Before we finish, um, we're gonna at least drop a few things here. I think we're gonna drop this. Um, we, we need that right now. And there's a Windcrest. 
But it's not an octagon. But I think I'm gonna take it with me because I feel like it'll be useful. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna save. And uh, this is gonna be the end of the episode. So I hope you enjoyed and if you did, smash that like button down below. It helps out a great deal. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, boys and girls, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Johnny.